Greetings and salutations, Mega Wizard 79 here with another episode of Skyrim. So, in our last episode, we, um, well, we basically got betrayed by, uh, the band of mercenaries that we were assisting in, um, a little grand larceny, if you will. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But now we have uh, come here to their hideout in Broken Ore Grotto to exact our revenge and uh, hopefully redeem ourselves. But we're here mostly just for revenge and also to get what is owed to us. So let us head in, shall we? Oh, I love this. I love the fact that you can have two summons. You can have that. You can have a follower, and uh, you can have a lightning. You can have a cloak on all at the same time. Oh, this is great! Uh, I cannot understate how wonderful that is, because uh, in the base game, you couldn't have a cloak and a summon at the same time, <laughs> even if you had the perk. But now they fixed that. Anyway, so, you know, you can come in here and try to, uh, solid snake your way in here. Life back when we could still make runs out to the coast. Well, before that cave in sealed our ships in here, Is someone there? Any size ship the one. challenger is near! Oh my goodness, I am way too overleveled for these guys. <laughs> yeah. Look at that! Oh my goodness. Oh, I used to remember when I came here the first uh, when I when I first got this quest and came here the first time, I was getting my ass handed to me by these guys. Time to end this little game. We are routed. Go back. <laughs> oh my God! I shouldn't be able to do this. I I am not kidding. I really shouldn't be able to do this. These guys shouldn't be this weak. Um, but yeah, you see, um, the reason that they kind of had, uh, as that, uh, as you probably heard in that little conversation they were having, the reason they're kind of, uh, stuck in here, uh, sorry, the, the reason they're kind of forced to, um, you know, resort to, uh, basically being marauders, and because they used to be pirates, uh, not marauders. Thing is, though, uh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, basically they used to be marauders, and they used to use this, this, uh, little, um, cave right here as a cove to, uh, place their, you know, to basically serve as, you know, for their ships, uh, for their ship to come and go, and, you know, so it's not out in open water and people can't see it. Problem is, though, a cave-in happened some time ago, I don't know when specifically, but yeah, apparently some cave-in happened and their boat is stuck in here now. So, they're literally up Ship's Creek without a battle, and they have to, uh, resort to being marauders. There's someone there? Now you're mine. Oh. Alright, there we go. Now we got more high-level oh. people. <laughs> Enough! This! <laughs> yeah, enough, he says. Suddenly, I feel much better. Of course you do. That's the power of grand healing. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, uh, seeing as how I'm so much more powerful than most of these guys in here. There's really no sense to, uh, to, to rush or anything. I can just take my time. And there is a lot of loot to be had in here. It's like chests everywhere. Is it going to be the greatest loot? No. Not even close. Especially not since, uh, I have fourteen hun I have a uh, sorry, I have a <laughs> I have a hundred and forty K. Yeah. <laughs> Again I am not 
longing for money. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, a flawless diamond. Love that. See, that's their ship right there. Uh, cave in happened, as you can see. By Ismir, that's impressive. I have to say, uh, I always forget that basically companions always do add like their two cents, which doesn't bother me. At least it makes them feel like real people. I like that. I also like the uh, granted, of course, you know, I will say, uh, at least not all of them are like Cicero, who just doesn't shut up. Alright, so... Did you hear something? I guess we'll just go this way. Honestly, that's... I was just hearing. Huh? No, you're not hearing anything, dude. Well, except for your pending doom. Ah, found you. Ah. I'm not really hiding, dude. Found you. <laughs> ah. that's, it. Ah. that's all you've got! Ah. Oh. Surely. Yeah, he doesn't talk. He just comes here and tries to kill you. Just a scratch. Let's see what you've got. which will open your chest over here. We're out, uh, I guess, having their little fun. Do do, but uh, yep, that's it. There's really not that much to it. Da, da, da. That's all garbage. I'm gonna take all these books because I didn't take all the books from the Ice Runner. Not to worry. During my free time, I will go and. Uh, fetch those books so you can all rest assured as I've said it before and I will say it again no book is left behind <laughs> except for that except for that one time but shh we're not gonna talk about that one time <laughs> anyway uh, it's useless here's the ice runner chest with all the loot oh, why did I pick that piece of garbage up That, that, and that. Eh, not the best stuff, but fortunately, uh... Ah, here's the guy's journal. Eh, what the heck. Eighth of Evening Star, for E200, Jero... <sighs> the Argonian is up to something big. He wouldn't tell me exactly, all he said was, it'll be just like the good old days before the cave-in sealed your boats in there. We can't send our ships out of here anymore. What is he hinting at? 
14th of Evening Star, 4th Era, 200. He wants to know what loot we have saved up. I don't care what he says, I'm not telling him anything about my stash. It stays down where it's safe. I can't imagine he'd ever jump in this murky water, let alone swim down to the sunken boat. 21st of Evening Star, 4th Era, 200. It's on! Jerry The Argonian and his sister Deja have something cooked up. All they need is a scapegoat. I wonder where they'll find someone dumb enough to do what they say. They're bound to, there's bound to be someone out there who will. Oh yeah, they're talking about us and stuff. But man, that guy's a complete idiot then. Take that. Uh, yeah, that book I just picked up, uh, this one here, I don't know if I've said this before, but essentially this is like the Bible of this universe. It is easily one of the most massive and thickest books you'll ever find. Doo -doo -doo. Alright, so we'll head up there now, and then we'll head down there to find the uh, chest that this key goes to. It's just ordinary. Alright, but yeah, as you can see, you could have uh, gone up this way and silently taken everyone out, but uh... I'm not an assassin. I've never made the accusation. Uh, sorry, I, I've never stated that I was an assassin. Oh, and you could have gone this way too instead of going around. But as you can see, you have a fair amount of ways to go through. Man, this place is a lot smaller than I remember. <laughs> His tail! find that funny, the physics in this game. Oop, another book. Three books. More books. Alright. This pretty much does it. Alright, so... There's a dead body. Anyway. Alright. Now then, the treasure chest. Should be like down here somewhere. somewhere. <sighs> oh, right, it's it's right there in the ship. One sec. Okay. 
There it is. You got this treasure? <sighs> My goodness, the pickings here are so slim. Ah, well, whatever. Let's just get out of here. I am sorely disappointed. everywhere so you know if you're a low-level person you can just come in here and just uh, clean up house the safe way all right uh, let's blow this popsicle stand Ooh, iron oh my apologies silver that's even better you can turn it into rings using and if you have any gems you can make higher quality rings Actually, I have some ring. I have some, uh. I actually have some. gems on me. Might as well show you. I mean, it's not like you guys don't know. But yeah, right here, jewelry. Ooh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can make some of this junk here. But, uh, yep. Unfortunately, I don't have. Right, I don't have ingots. Oh, you can use a smelter here, but. Oh, whatever. I've wasted enough time as it is. Let's just go and collect our reward from Falk Firebeard. Whee! Oh. Ow. That hurt more than I thought it would. Seriously, I find it so weird that I just straight up obliterated those guys with little issue. I was expecting more of a challenge. Oh, I don't think I went over here. Huh. Interesting. Oh, I get it. You could have, uh... Yeah, since this whole place is, like, uh, interconnected, you could have just, uh, yep. Yeah. Right, that's why it f th that's why this place feels smaller than, uh, it used to for me. Because, um, because I went the more, ooh, bear pelt. Uh, because I took the more direct route. <laughs> Last time when I came in here, I went all really stealthily and stuff, because I was, uh, Still, uh, I just came off the Dark Brotherhood quest line, so I was still testing out my, um, eh, my assassin skills and stuff, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> what to do now, though? Uh, that ended way faster than I was expecting. <laughs> what a disappointment. Mmm. You were that mage from the college, right? Your things have finally calmed down over there. In a manner of speaking. Mm. All right, folk. Do you have business with the court? Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. I uh, won't forget what you've done for Solitude. Man, that reward sucks. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, let's see. Mm, what 
to do. Everything's all manageable now. <laughs> um, oh, I know. Let's go clear this place out. There's a word of power down there. And it's not that big of a tomb. Look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Cause I'm just passing through. <laughs> Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted. And you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Now, uh, obviously, we've already killed the ghost in here, because we came in here to uh, get Dark brother uh, Dark Brotherhood, to get Dark um, Elf Blood once. And the quote-unquote ghost was nothing more than Look just a sh the ancestor oops I, <laughs> I forgot he, he says st uh, since he's annoyed he says stuff about the tra about the barrows should have uh, waited to hear his dialogue ah well So this place is reset it so Okay, here we go again. Um Alright, so the last one is the one I don't want to push. Close that. Close that. What? There we go. Right then. I didn't pick this last time. Let us rectify that. Suddenly, I, I feel much better. Alright. Nope. Boom. There we go. Yeah, you definitely want to uh, <laughs> turn that off because, uh, as you can see right there, you get torched. Eh, not the greatest stuff except for that greater soul gem. That's not bad. Dead body, still here. Oh, I think that responded. Take that. This is what you want. Mm, right. So yeah, that journal. It talks about. Uh, you see, he came here looking for the treasure of this place. And uh, well, thing is though, is well, you. 
you need the um, uh, you need the claw to be able to go any further in here. Um, he couldn't find it. He thought it'd be in here, but it's not. Uh, uh, basically, the only way you get it is if uh, is when you uh, go back and give him give the innkeeper this journal. Uh, I think you keep the journal anyway. But uh, yeah, you show it to him, and in exchange, he gives you the claw, <laughs> which then allows you to proceed forward. We don't get many visitors. Need a room? Maybe a drink? You name it. About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there. Just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrel. And that was it. We never saw him again. Yeah, you see the the guy in question. He was uh, it was him making all the noises because he didn't want the Nords going in there and basically taking the treasure for themselves. Let me see that. I can't believe this. It was all just a fabrication of this Windelius character. I can't believe we were so stupid. Well, least I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. Alright, and uh, well... If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down. That it is. Uh, but yeah, looks like uh, he takes the journal for keeps. But in exchange, he gives you... This. And now we go back inside. <laughs> Fun, isn't it? Alright, uh, let's see. Facing droggers. So... Where's my... Circle of protection. Turn greater undead. There we go. I never get to. Uh, I never use circle of protection as much as I should. I guess it's mostly because uh, you kind of outlevel it once you reach a, once you get to a certain point in the game. take them off before you open the door you get skewered or in this case torched there we go now let's see I think it was what moth yeah moth bird wolf so, Grand Soul Gem. Alright. Sith, uh, nope. Oak Flesh. 
gosh, I do not need to waste my time with that. <laughs> yeah, these are like the weakest of the weak. Seed. Uh... <laughs> well, thanks. Oh, actually, yeah. Hello. I forgot you get a level sword down here. Thank you. Come on. Of course it's locked too. rubies are just becoming less and less rare. I have so many of them now. Okay, another. Fortunately, my ally will step on those things. Like the lovable dope that he is. Wow, we actually stood in the perfect spot.
fuck. Damn you! better of course you do Carls can't die. <laughs> Things are so rare. Well, not as rare as you think, but they're still relatively rare. What is the point of this? Okay, so let's see what we got here. Um, oh, this isn't good. I didn't see any clues or anything. Alright, 
So you just step on this. stuff. Right. Now, I could have used my telekinesis to pull that off, but eh. As long as you got quick enough reflexes, you got nothing to worry about. Alright. You dope. Suddenly, I, I feel much better. Eh. And I hit my cap. All right, what do I drop? Mm -hmm. Oh, that increases. I think that's actually much better than my. What is that? Forty-five. Yeah, it's actually better than my. And I've had these for like ever. Oh, that makes me feel sad. Cause that means that uh now there's no reason for me to keep those. And I've had those since like oh my goodness, I think I found those in like the start of the playthrough and have not looked back. Oh Wow. Well, it was gonna happen anyway. But yeah. That really does make me sad. Feeling there's trouble ahead. <laughs> oh, you <sighs> figures.
got stuck behind the... Ugh, that is so stupid. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Shh. Look at that. What? Oh, no. Sorry, never mind. That was just my astronauts disappearing. I'm like... I thought there was another chest. I mean, another... Uh, take that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. And it's a novice. Okay, that's starting to annoy me now. There we go. What is it, Thane? What's mine is yours, Thane. I am at your command. There we go. Ah, he can't carry that now. <laughs> it's too heavy for him. Lead on then. Alright. Alright, so... I will say that's pretty clever though for them to... You know, you come all this way and then boom! There's a... Boo! Times piece. That means that is the animal, if I recall. No, I think I think that might be its own thing. Oh yeah, it is its own thing. Interesting. Uh, yep. This uh, causes uh, animals to not wish to fight you, and they disappear. And by disappear, I mean they just you know <laughs> leave. It, not much else. All right, oh, let's get out of here, shall we? Uh. Now, typical to Skyrim fashion, the exit. Situated right next to the entrance, and just like that, we're back. It's funny, he was closer to the treasure than he thought. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, alright, so we'll just leave it right here. In the next episode, we will go and deal with this little quest here to finally. Uh, find out what the big hubbub is about this uh, one dwarven ruin up here. Uh, but yep, until that time now, this is Mega Wizard 79 bidding you all adieu.